Hello, my friends, and welcome to our final episode of our blind let's play, Bravely Second and Liar for the PC. My name is the Footless Bird, this is your Storybase Gaming Channel, and today, today we hit New Game Plus, and we dive back into Chapter 6 in order to unlock the final fight, which I presume is with the adventurer if it's like Bravely Default 1. But as you can see, we can select the chapter we can jump into, we can select what we want to carry over. We want to carry everything over and go back to chapter six because the hidden dungeon only appears if you do a new game plus on chapter six. Well, I guess I guess it appears if you do a new game plus earlier, but you have to be in chapter six, I think, in order for the dungeon to unlock. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. So after hitting New Game Plus, you want to skip through the uh, the start of Chapter 6, get the rubber dub and you want to come here to the Mithril Mines. Now, in the Mithril Mines, uh, we've been here before. This is also where the White Mage quest is. Uh, the White Mage and uh, Merchant, I believe it is. But... If you remember, that door at the very back of the room, that door was shut. But now we can see it has been opened. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think I would have ever figured this out myself. I mean, that door did bug me, like, why it was closed. I just thought it was closed because it wasn't necessary in this game. And uh, they didn't want to get rid of it because they knew that it was the uh, the temple and Bravely uh, Default. But yeah, this is basically where we go. So let's go through the red door. Dimensions Cauldron, level 70 to 99. And the encounter rate is, the encounter rate is, uh, the encounter rate is basically saying, uh, screw you. You can't mess with me, ha 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 ha. Although I could say, well, screw you back because I have the perfect plan to combat that, and that's a bunch of supremacies. It, it does look like I may need some extra help though in this area. So let's go to Mizuro Yu and let us put him on Divining Rod, and let's go to Magnolia and let's put her on Dungeon Master. Because I see flames everywhere. And I want to make sure I don't get hit by those. I actually have too many turbo ethers. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Okay, we have one new enemy. That's why I kind of stopped the, uh, the Bravely Default thing. Although I don't know who... I don't know who's fastest. I, I assume Idea's fastest, but I'm unsure. And also, my party order is out of whack. So why don't I just use a magnifying glass on the Kashi. And I'll just have anyone block. Okay, now we can hit a uh, blinding light. Sounds easy. But God, I don't have any healers with this setup. But you know, I have a ton of high potions. Why am I using high potions? Because our damage is based on a max HP. So it just makes sense to me to do that. Uh, let's go right first, because I think the exit is going to be the far side of where we enter. Yep, I was right about that. I know left is always right, but I figured that would work. Oh, we got some magic amulets. Also, I need to redo my... We must have them already because I don't see them anywhere. Uh, I need to redo this uh, order here. This is it's a little bit funky. Uh, Tis up front. No. Yes. No. Yes. Good. There we go. So it's like we fought these things before. So we're probably getting like enemies from all over the game. It does say level 70 to 99. Um, up or down? I think up is the best way to go. 
No, I think down was the right way to go. I mean, this is a way to go, but I think that middle way is the way to, uh, to head out. Are my shoes for speed? Yep, okay, let's go back now. Because I can clearly see a treasure chest there, which means the other way is the way to the next dungeon, or the next floor. I really should also uh, max up my SP right now. That way if I find an enemy that I haven't seen before, I can quickly hit start. Providing they don't die instantly. I mean, they may die instantly. Can it, Knuckles? It's a trap! Ah, uh, Is this a green dragon for the first game? Because if so, uh, I may, um... This may be bad. Uh, let's add to... Uh, let's add delete my flow here. Let's go ahead and use a, uh, magnifying glass now. But what I do best isn't very nice. 200,000. Dang. Should I take this guy seriously or should I just spam it? Uh, if I spam it, I do 12,000 damage per character. Hmm. That would be a bad idea. Okay, so let us... Thinking, hold on. Uh, let us uh, shell strip it. And then we will... Let's wait. Let us sing. Uh, Hearts on fire. And then let us... I I'm tempted to be defensive here, but let's not. Okay, that did some damage, but it should be fine. Okay, now we're going to, we already shell stripped. Let's magic strip as well. And we'll just go into our amp strike. Uh, let's have you. Let's have you do before swine and then just attack. Uh, you, I want you to uh, sing uh, one more for you on Magnolia. Because Magnolia is going to be using her first turn to uh, heal us with an Amaterasu Mist. So nice to see. All right, now I could probably finish them all fight now with a uh, with a uh, bravely second, but I'm not going to because I don't think I need to. I just need to do this uh, multiple times. It doesn't have the, uh, the physical up, but it does have the magical up. I don't even think I need a uh, an amp. Probably just do double. Should be plenty. Good. Eh, 
candy toast. I wonder if I should be stealing from these guys though. That really makes me wonder. I'm assuming there's gonna be more than one of these chests. So why don't I switch uh, you to a thief again? And why don't I give you your old daggers back? Let's use the Atikarasu. And we'll use Kikyo's dagger. Sure. That way I could steal from the other dragons. I don't think I need to do that. It's just curiosity more than anything. Over, you know, do the dragons give you some cool stuff? I'm almost positive there's gonna be some more trap chests in here. Might as well take a look at what they have, right? Kick, 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 kick. All right, uh, I'm gonna light them all. Okay, 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 okay. Look, I'm a talking skeleton. <laughs> I'll never forget playing a, uh, Tiny Tina's, uh, the, uh, the Borderlands D and D type game. Ran into a, uh, ran into a skeleton. He's like, I'm a talking skeleton. I didn't hit start fast enough. I was too busy reminding myself of the hilarity of the skeletons. Oh, I hate it when I do that. I'm trying to go down and accidentally go down the staircase. How many of you guys have done that before? I mean, come on, the way this staircase is set up, it's very easy to fall into that trap. Uh, let's go up and set, uh, no. I don't know, the way that this one kind of, there's another one over to the left makes me think you do go down here. A mule near? I don't think that's gonna be better. That, that looks like more like a physical item than a magical one. Yeah, it's a physical one. It's a giant mace. It's a lightning mace. Which makes perfect sense. It's just not what I'm seeking. Makes me wonder if there's hidden uh, caves in this place. Caught it this time. The wolf. It's clobbering time. That's funny because she's dressed as a trumpet. <laughs> you wouldn't like me if I'm angry. Uh, up top, I think. Getting pretty good at this guessing game so far. Don't need to guess there's the stairs. Kodashu, it's a trap. Oh my God, that's not a dragon. What the heck is that? That's a, it's a behemoth. All right, it doesn't look like any of the behemoths I remember from Final Fantasy, but this ain't Final Fantasy, so. So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, let's start out by uh, lowering his defense. Uh, idea, I'm gonna have you go full steam on thievery here. Do a uh, puts the thieves three times along with a mug. Also do hearts on fire. And uh, let's queue up a Amataz and Mist. Nope. Oh, we still eat this, okay. So that's not game changing. Turbo Ethers aren't game changing here. Okay, I, I feel better now. I thought maybe we get like some super rare equipment, but apparently we don't. So, you know, that's, that is what it is. Uh, let's reduce this magic defense as well. And we'll just do doubles because I'm pretty sure that's all we need. And uh, we need a magnifying glass. Uh, why don't I do it on you because I have a chance to. Ah, we got lightning. That mule in there suddenly makes a lot more sense, though, doesn't it? Uh, let's do a grand ship. Keep our stats up. I might do another miss just to have it up. Does not cure poison, though, unfortunately. Uh, let's get a one more for you on Tiz.
Things are very strong. All right, you don't have physical defense anymore, so let's start with that first. And more double damage coming your way. Uh, you can... You can probably just attack. You may not do as much as your, uh, your swordsman form, but that's fine. Uh, let's do one more for you on Tiz. And you can just go all out on uh, Deus Ex. Yeah, she's not getting those crits. Still good damage though, but no crits. I bet you if she had quick or something, she could do a lot more. Especially as a, uh, a sword master. All right, Tiz, let's see how much damage you can actually do this thing. Six, seven dollars? Not bad. Not bad at all. And we should have like so many turbos, right? And uh, we also need an antidotes. And some X potions. So do I still want to try stealing? Yeah, I still want to try stealing, just to make sure. I mean, I like the thief class. It's always been one of my favorite classes in this game. Why the heck not? Okay, I see a chest down there. It's an overhead down over here. So happy I figured out the the Kaiser move there. It's just so powerful. It's ridiculous. It just makes going through areas like this so much easier. Whereas I think in the original game I used uh, Valkyries jump, which also is very powerful. But I mean this just works. Dang it. <laughs> And it's funny too because I don't know if it showed up on screen, but I accidentally hit the middle button on my controller, which brings up the uh, like the Xbox menu. I use an Xbox controller, but I don't play Xbox. I mean, the controller just works on PC. It, it just does. For me, it's the best controller I've used. Inferno and the red plan. Looks like you've stopped. I probably should have used double. I forgot how to do that. I think I had a brave or something. Yeah, I, I missed someone up. Oh, I also missed a chest on the top right. Uh, Dragon Vendel. It's another big giant dragon. Ladon. Oh. Ladon is the uh, the dragon in Greek mythology that guards the uh, the, uh, the the golden apples, right? Pretty sure he is. Uh, let us go ahead and start with a. Oh, let's start with the, the most basic thing now. Uh, we're storing our SP. Okay, let's start with the physical defense down. Let's have you hopefully hit one of these. I would not have to spam them again. Uh, let's start with you doing uh, one more view on Idea. Try to get her back as fast as possible. And I guess you can do a, an Amaterasu Mist. Now like, darn, that sucks. We know he probably has like 200,000 HP though. Paralyze. That sucks. Now, unfortunately, Amaterasu doesn't restore status effects. Would be nice if it did, but it doesn't. And I have no idea how long Paralysis lasts. Is it a big deal? Nah. But it's, it's, it's still a thing.
Wow, that luck is for real. I don't mean to pause away either. Uh, let's give up an Amaterasu for now. Because I'm trying to play a little defensively to try to get that steal. Also need to get another bug in there. Wow, that luck is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I don't want you to go full. What do you weak to the wind? Got some bite, that's for sure. I mean, our magic attack did kind of nothing to him. Wow, that luck is legendarily bad. Oh my god. I know it's a 25% chance, but what is that, 12 steals now? And unfortunately, she's paralyzed. Well, that sucks. I'm sorry, if I kill him before I do a rare steal, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I mean, that that's just the thing. It's, it is what it is. Oh, Magnolia. Wow, that's a powerful heal. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize how badly Magnolia was hurt. Uh, let us do a Hearts on Fire. Uh, let's also do a Grand Ship. I mean, this guy's not that hard. He's just kind of annoying, really. With all the paralysis and everything else. Paralysis has just ran out, which is great. Hopefully this will be the time it works. Hey, we finally got it. Unfortunately, it wasn't really worth it. But hey, at least we got it, right? Paralysis is really annoying. Like, super annoying. I mean, we'll kill him once we, uh... Once we get our turns back around. It's just the paralysis slows me down immensely. Oh, we did get a new item from that, though. Is anyone actually using that item? Uh, the Dragvindel. It looks amazing, though. Look how big that sword is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't really care about items. We're good. It looks like I missed a chest we have there, and there is a staircase. Uh, I gotta go all the way back around. It's not an issue, though. Just maybe like one or two fights, but I could go through these fights really, really fast. Queen Moth is very pretty. Grandiva. Another trap. Another red dragon. Salamander. Well, not another red dragon, but you know, another dragon. Okay, uh, let's start with our shell strip and our here. I'm also not going to spend too much time as I did on previous fights. I've already learned that they're not going to give me equipment, so let's not waste a lot of time. Always a little bit of time, just not a lot of time. Yeah. If her turn comes back around and I have it. Oh, wow. That fire attack hurt. Am I gonna be able to survive? I don't know if I would be able to survive if I didn't use this first. Okay, I would have survived. But it's a lot easier just to do that. I'll try to get Idea back to do one more round of rare steals, but I'm probably just expecting another dragon stick. Yep. Call that one. Absolutely call that one. Huh? The whole world stopped? Sure, why not? I was thinking, do I want to do this or not? And I'm like, this is no dream. Yeah, why not? Just go for it. Wow, 1500 HP. Are you kidding me, game? You know, that'll kill you, but I know this will. She just done dark. Oh, that worked anyway. Yeah, a dart would have killed him too. Okay, uh, let us restock. And I also need to restock on SP potions. And we will crack on. I wonder if this is gonna be like seven floors. I think the previous Final Dungeon was 10 floors, right? I don't know what the Hidden Dungeon was in Bravely Default 1. That's kind of eluding me at this second off the top of my tongue. Gotta go around to climb down these stairs. Okay, let's go down again. Crystal vest. Is that gonna be better? Once again, drops my magic defense down so much. Yeah, I don't want to lose that much magic defense. I mean, we already have enough physical defense, so. Okay, we got a item in that um, enemy that we haven't seen here. Keep work. I just woke up. I'm not letting you win. Uh, 
All right, uh, let's go down here, make sure there's not an item on the ground. There's not. I see one chest there. Enemies look out of sight, that's not a problem. One HP. He had one HP on him. Oh man, that's one tough doggy. I wonder if he has a skill that makes it so that if he takes max HP, he only goes down to one. I feel like I'm going towards the staircase. Which is a really bad luck for him. That's a strong turtle. Now, the two at the top, um, Tiz and uh, Idia, they both have Pierce Default on. So if I run into an enemy that defaults, it, it doesn't matter. They'll still kill him. I, I don't know if the uh, the Kaiser attack uh, pierces default anyway and just does always the same damage. But like I said, it doesn't bother me either way. A little bit too late on the draw there, Flightless. Especially that guy. Did I get my weapons back? Yeah, I got my weapons back. They just didn't equip. That's kind of annoying. Magito fire. Oh, technically you don't need this because right now you don't have any spells equipped, but... That was an interesting enemy there. Almost like a sub-boss of types. And I didn't use my uh, my magnifying glass on because I was kind of shocked that it did all that. Like in all seriousness, I was just watching confused by how this thing wasn't dying. Surprisingly, we've never, we never identified a, a goblin. I thought maybe it was the chomper that we haven't identified, but. This is a darn fine cup of coffee. Okay, uh, there's one chest left. And there's one area that I haven't uncovered, so... Don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to understand that the chest is probably down here. And this is probably gonna be a trap. No! Huh? How about that? The game seems to be done with traps for now. It'd be cool if we had to fight our previous party from the first game. Like, instead of the adventure, it's Tiz, Idia, Agnes, um, Ring a Bell. You know what I mean? It, it would be cool. Well, the adventure is here. There's also a chest way on the other side of him. Amano Sakahoko. And it's trapped. Got one more dragon, Shinryu. Very feared, I believe, in Palm Fantasy V? Wanna say? Now let's put up on Amaterasu right away. Oh, blind. Well, that could suck. But I don't think it'll matter if I use abilities. Like, if I use abilities, I think it doesn't matter. Well, then we'll want to find out. No, it does matter. It absolutely doesn't matter. 
And because he spams it... <sighs> because he spams it... I'm not really sure the best way to counter that. Now, we can't eventually kill him with just Magnolia. <laughs> Might as well just go all in on that. Try to get the Dragon Stake. Just because I can. If I do this, so I'm leaving myself open. Because I need to make sure I have Amaterasu up or I may not have any healing capabilities. Just nothing, man. Now what I could do though, is I could use eye drops on me and then, then attack. That should work fine. Bravely second. Take this, the Orior method to quick Z's. <laughs> Say good night. Okay. Uh. I drops. Turbithers. Okay, uh, what I need to do, because the adventurer can be very strong. Like, very strong. So what I need to do is I need to leave. And then come back. And what that will do is I'll always save my progress. So if anything bad happens here, I don't have to fight that dragon again. I also want to go into my abilities now. And I probably want to change these up. I don't need to steal anymore. This is the final fight of the game. Like, the final fight. So anything I steal doesn't matter after this point. Even if it's like the ultimate weapon, who cares? I've defeated everything there is. Uh, so I want to make sure that Idia can do stuff. And what I would like is Idia to have Exorcist on for management reasons. So do I need Exorcist on though as a main ability? Well, I have Undo Tra as default, which is really good. So yeah, you're going to um, that. And as a side class, I could do anything I wanted with you. Literally anything. I could make you a summoner, just put up Amaterasu. Um. I could give you piracy, just for reducing. Could give you singing. So this is more an offensive secondary, this is more defensive secondary. Uh, I think I'll probably give her a more... You know, if I go Supremacy though, I could do that um, AOE attack. Which might help at the end of the fight. Uh, let's go for... Yeah, let's go for Supremacy. Keep going Supremacy. That way you can do that AOE attack by Ninja at the very, very end. Uh, what equipment can you use as an Exorcist? Uh, swords. Doomsday, with by Geist Grace, and John An Jan Angard. All right, that's fine. Um, you guys, I can take these off you now. And what I probably want to put on you is um. 
is pierce the fall. What? Yeah, pierce the fall. Uh, I don't want to be screwed over by that. If I can find it. I really should have written down which one had which. There it is, Valkyrie. Okay, so you're a performer. And... I don't think I want to go Supremacy with you. I think I want to go Summoner with you. And your main job is Summoning with Supremacy. I think I want to take you as... Let's try Diabolism. Why not? Final fight, let's just throw everything at the wall. Who cares? I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, as far as... You know, though, if I go... Hold on, hold on. That may be a bad idea. What I could do is... I can make her a Diabolist. If I can find it. And I could go Astral. Because then it could put up the status barriers. Uh, also, that gives me a lot more HP. Wow. Alright, final fight. I had doubted any human eyes would see this place save mine. What do you say? Fits to match as long as you're here? Uh, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Ah, wrong button. All right, you're on. I'll hold nothing back. Fox is back. All right, this is the second time we now fought this uh, this creature, wherever she is. I'm gonna start out by doing. I didn't want advent. I didn't want um, the Kaiser on him. That was a mistake. I'm gonna start out by doing a uh, physical defense and a magical defense down on the inventor. Uh, Adia, I would like you to uh, be on magnifying glass duty. You, I would like you to summon Amaterasu as a mist. And Magnolia, I would like you to astral status barrier as a blast. Oh wow, that did damage. Looks like the wolf is protecting her too. Oh, that sucks. And I and I had that going up. It was just like a second too late. Wow. Let's go. Five hundred thirty thousand. Okay, I need you to. Uh, you need to kill the wolf, which is obvious, but uh, let's eye drop you first. And then we will... Uh, then we are going to... Reduce. Because I have a plan. I have a plan. I don't think that would work. The uh, all kill. I'm gonna have her defend for now. I would like you to sing Hearts on Fire. And. Let's go ahead and blast that out. Nope, too early. Bravely second. Now is one I wanted to do it. One. Bah. The wolf will be back. 
But now I can go all out on the adventure. And at this point, I could like cheese the heck out of this fight, I think. I don't really want to do that. I will cheese it a little bit, but I don't want to cheese it totally. Like if I keep doing this, I could instantly win. But I think I'm just gonna do it a little bit just to bring down its HP. I nodded off for a moment there. Don't count me out. Sleep does a body good. Pass it on. Yeah, you, you, I could just spam that and instantly win this fight. So I'm not gonna do that any more than I already have. I, I've shown that it can be done. I'm gonna have you defend. Or, uh, I'm gonna undo MP Tiz, bring him back up. Uh, you, I'm gonna grind ship. Now, I wonder, will this work? Nope, it will not work. I can't instantly kill him. Cause technically he, um, I guess he got called, so we didn't die. Okay. Uh, let's have you chill for now. Uh, sing hearts on fire, and I would like you to make sure the um, uh, the status buff is up. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's really frustrating. Stupid wolf. Wow, maybe I should have just cheated after all. <laughs> I mean, it's not cheating if you're just using what the game gave you, but still. To sleep, perchance to dream. Bravely second. Cure your sheep. They'll die if you don't. We'll go ahead and get everyone back up here. I just ended the fight when I wanted to. <laughs> I, I wanted to see like what this guy could do more than anything else. Uh, or this girl could do. That's kind of why I didn't want to just instantly kill her. But dang, it is some powerful stuff. Magnolia, Stand still. Let's do it, everyone. Okay, now I'm back up. I do think I'm gonna. I do think I am going to violate something I just said, though, to get rid of this annoying little fox. Because this fox is very annoying. Take it from me, folks. A genuine shepherd. There's no fallow when it comes to fleecing. All right, Fox is gone. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce your physical attack. You kind of scared me now. Let's get her up. And I'll go ahead and summon Amaterasu as a mist. Really? You just called it instantly back? Bravely second. 
You literally just called it instantly back. Limit break, Omni Shear. You want me to shear you? Well, do you, punk? Okay, what's all this sheep stuff going on? <laughs> Was that ninety thousand? God, wait. I'm really beginning to think that Mira should just end this fight. <laughs> because if, because if this wolf, if if I kill the adventurer and then the wolf calls adventurer, I am going to be absolutely infuriated. And I know a lot of people may want to see that just because they're like, aha, no, I, I don't need to do that. I, I, I don't need to do that. One small step for lamb. One giant leap for lamb kind. All right, all right, Tiz. I know what I said. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound like a hypocrite, but screw this girl. Lamb chop. Hi, ba. This one's for you. For Magnolia, and this is for Idia. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, oh the phone here. Fight this again. All right, um, really shouldn't mess around with this. Tiz, I'm going to call on you right now. Get rid of that wolf. Yeah, let me get a friend bot. I'll put a stop to time. Okay, l let's see what the adventure has. Uh, let's get an Amaterasu up. 530,000 now. Of course you called it comrade. You seem to love to call you comrade. I've been saving up these uh, SP drinks for a reason. Eight hours means another SP. That's right. I gotta do that first. Pretty sure there's a lot more broken ways to do this, this way in ages. especially with uh, some of the really big abilities you could use. Like you've stopped. Oh, you know what? I got my pattern. The whole world stopped. And it may not be the most efficient thing. I'm pretty sure rain down meteors is probably more efficient. But you know what? It works.
wonder how long that lasts. Let's wait for it. Let's see what the adventure does. But that wasn't as powerful as some of the other things it's been doing. It's not gonna matter, I'm already doing 9999. Much weaker now than she was before. Like, much weaker. Gosh, stupid box. So, Sun and Bloom. Is that one of these? Uh, performs action reverse order of speed. So basically now she goes first on every turn Hmm It's kind of annoying, but it's okay. Uh, let's have you defend uh, You can sing one more view for tis uh, Why don't we put up our barrier again? Just to make sure we're doing max damage. Um, idea. Throw a blinding light in there. Uh, how about you summon something? Not wait to anything. Uh, we'll summon... Susanna? Oh, it's reversed order. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's clever. Oh, this box is gonna annoy me if I don't kill it right now. I have Sassberry up though, it should be fine. Give you an elixir just to make sure. I actually don't need elixir, you can heal yourself. I totally forgot about that. If I do the right thing, you can heal yourself. But right now you do heal yourself because there's always a chance that you may die before your turn comes about. Uh, let's look at Diabolism. Uh, when base magic. It's all, all enemies support magic increase your own attributes. And we attack support targets with instant kill. All enemy support effects. So let us cast... Uh, let's cast Envy, and then let's cast, um, Pride. And then let's make sure our status barrier stays up. Son of Blue must have ended. Oh my god! Holy cow, you remember what I said? This thing's a lot easier than, uh, her other form? No, it's not. Oh, nice. Very nice. But yeah, this thing is definitely not. Um, definitely not. Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. 
It's not gonna work though. I got mega elixir here. I have a bunch of them. Show and tell your deepest secrets. White or black. I need to kill that fox, like right now. No dream. Good. I know the fox will be back. Don't worry. He, no, no foxes were in the production in the of this game. Uh, let's see. Thirty-three thousand. Okay. Double physical attack. Does this go above 150%? I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna try, um. And I'm gonna try, oh my gosh, it's 200%. How much damage is it gonna do? I just woke up. I'm not letting you win. That was a lot. That was what, like 110,000? a darn fine cup of coffee wow it's so Take much this, the Orier method to quick Z's. all right I feel like I've seen enough of this boss let's go ahead and finish her off she's really cool one, I, I love that one attack that she does that like just destroys her entire party that was neat Space time, Beazel, and Blade. Marvelous. I'm only truly bested. Didn't see it coming, I must confess. It was the most fun I've had in ages. Anytime you care to go again, just say the word. Anytime at all. Alright, so that was the final fight. And I believe you can actually use Space Time Blade. Blade Forge across Compass Fragments. Wow, that looks amazing. Space time Beazel. Wow, all the stats on that are just ridiculous. Okay, well let me head um Let me head to a to a save point here. And before we leave, there is one thing that we probably want to do. And that is to look at the best area of boss. I don't think I'm gonna look through all the humanoids. But I definitely want to look through all the bosses, and for some reason, this is missing. And the reason it's missing is because our wonderful creator of the mod, Entra, uh, couldn't find any data on it, which is understandable. I mean, look at all this stuff that he was able to find. If you go back to Bravely Default, and you look at Bravely Default, all of those uh, super bosses uh, that you found in Arende, well, all found by Entra. So let's make sure we give Entra a round of applause for his amazing work on these, uh, on the mod for these games. Anna Ultimate. Anna's ultimate form. We face her in a grand battle at the end of Narende Ravine. She revealed that a true master had always been the false god Providence, a god of destruction that fixed his sights on Lux and Dark next. And we learned that Anna was basically Ares' big sister, a fellow servant born to loyally serve the will of the gods. Ares served Ouroboros, a god of destruction was targeting the celestial realm. That was a bit of an issue for Anne, though. That's why she said that we were kind enough to stop her. Once Ouroboros was defeated, Anna set out to find a powerful pawn to set our own plans into motion. A man with, who burned with idealism and a desire to change the world from what it was. And that was Denny. Anna told us everything that in, rav in the ravine before she took on her ultimate form to battle us. With Akedia, she could cancel out any boost we had given ourselves and even make ourselves weak to elements that have been protected against. Dark Flare does dark damage to the whole party, and Vortex deals 8 wind-based physical hits at random. Her attacks are all in an entirely different league compared to others we faced, but the worst of all had to be Undermine. I know. It reduces your max HP to just 1, and it's not an assassin effect to be healed or something that will go away after a few turns. It's stuck that way for the rest of the entire battle. Yeah, that's the one thing I did miss because I killed her too quickly. Sorry about that. Uh, I did hear about it from the comments, though, about how she has this really busted ability. It does go away at the end of battle, though. So, don't worry. Yeah, it was tough to overcome that ability, but we did. And we defeated her to continue on the path to the Celestial Realm. So we could bring down the False God Providence next. 
and ultimate. Faithful servant to the false god Providence. Lady Anna developed a plan to send the Foul de Luxendark ahead of her master as a vanguard and to have them destroy Fort Lune, the base on the moon whose ball busters defend the planet. Anna went into raptures when she discovered, uh, in Forgotten Caldisla, a route connecting Luxendark with the Celestial Realm. After we defeat her in the final battle, she revealed the full depths of her machinations before she perished. Providence. The false god who fed on Vega's despair and used her love for nefarious purposes. Vega was left behind in the celestial realm when Altair came to this world, and of all of the despair that she felt for all these years, Providence looked into her soul and found inside her images of the lush green world of Luxendark. And when she saw her world, all he could think to do was destroy it? What a guy. The ball were made from Vega and Altair's precious memories from the life together. The ball were the ball were trying to get Altair. So they were attracted to Tiz, who held Altair, Altair's soul within him. I'm glad that Altair's voice finally reached Vega. Once Vega had hope, once again, she was able to break free of Providence's control. Many to heaven forced one of us to hurt one of our own party. If we don't obey within the time limit, we'll get hit with divine punishment, which is everyone with a cool... Not quad nines. Pented nines in damage. That's why my entire party got crushed, even though I was about 10,000 HP. And if you get knocked out by another mandate of heaven and can't carry out your own, then the, the divine punishment will still rain down upon your entire party. So even if you use something like Calm, uh, it would just keep doing it over and over and over again. After a long and terrible battle, we finally defeated Providence. We were just bidding farewell to Vega and Altair's souls and turning for home when... The wicked god who inflicted never any despair on Vega, Providence ordered Anna to use Vega's memories to corrupt and defile Luxendark. At the end of the final battle, the hope in Vega's heart was rekindled when she heard Altair's voice and escaped Providence's control, and with that, we won the battle. False God Providence The False God Providence, we fought him in a, in a fierce battle alongside you. It was an unbelievable struggle, but we did it. We destroyed the False God. And then Tiz. We almost lost him again. But a holiness came running to us, grasping a certain hourglass and been filled with years of memories and wishes and feelings. It's so cool how it went back to the original Bravely Default at the very beginning of the game. And they tied that together. It's so well done. A massive being, at one with the universe, too vast to properly comprehend. When the false god tried to confuse us by telling us about you, we were supported by the prayers of all the people of Luxendark. And that saved us from falling for his lies. At the end of the final battle, False God Providence and his evil plans disappeared forever into the blackness of space. Deneb the Adventurer. Deneb, the adventurer who has been there for us so many times, so many for our toughest times. I guess we should have known that she was strong, but that meteor and that mass slash attack, not to mention what she calls a comrade for reinforcements, that's not the worst of it. I don't even want to remember the worst of it. Battling her made me want to retire my blade once and for all. They're probably talking about the fact that the fox can summon adventurer, which means you could kill the adventurer and only have the adventurer get respawned again. Thankfully, I avoided that. I know. I, I Sorry I disappointed you all by not raging at that, but I got to be true to myself. And yeah, I, I, I'm not disappointed at all. <laughs> ha ha ha. Yet you did manage to defeat these two, my friends. I was impressed yet again by your strength and determination. And tickled to see such an old friend once again. That's interesting how how Altair is commenting on this when he's already gone, right? Well, I guess it's New Game Plus. He hasn't left yet, but... The renowned adventurer, rumor, and legend, Denim the Adventurer. A kindly individual who travels around. Even the most hidden and dangerous dungeons and castles to watch over us and lend us aid. It seems like every time we are at the end of our tether, desperate and stuck in the depths of the dungeon, Denim appears, dispensing hope and tough love in equal measure. What secrets lie behind this enigmatic figure's mask? Denim is really, really strong. Like, there's a reason she was able to follow us around the game because monsters probably ran away from her in terror. If they had a chance to run and she didn't cut them up beforehand. It's the adventurer's loyal companion. Who's a good pup? Aw, he's so cute. Yeah, and a pain in battle. As long as he's a mix, the adventurer is untouchable. Yeah, I know what you mean. Staring into the laughing eyes like staring down your doom. Look, there's a note here. Likes Inari Sushi. And where I've heard that before. I have heard that before. Comrade, the constant companion of the wandering avenger of rumor and legend. As Tiz described, he and his master, so helpful to us throughout our quest, await us at journey's end to give us the fight of our lives. The faithful flocks, 
Fox is fiercely devoted to the venturer, defending with protect ally, healing woods with Karaga, and even summoning his master back to the battle. All right, my friends, that is. That's it for Bravely Second. Who's What a great game. I, I can't, I can't, I can't laud this game enough for how amazingly awesome it's been. It's been so, so good. And I have enjoyed every step of the way. Now, for what's next? Uh, for what's next, we have Legend of Dragoon. And then we're probably gonna have a fan poll. Even though Legend of Dragoon is one of those games that's been recommended to me, I'll probably do a fan poll after that. And uh, one of the games on our spreadsheet is actually Bravely Default 2. So if you want to see Bravely Default 2, don't forget to join our Discord and vote for it. Uh, so that way it can come up for a YouTube vote. And if it wins a YouTube vote, we'll play it after uh, Legend of Dragoon. And if not, then we'll play whatever does come up until we do play Bravely Default 2 sometime down the road. I will play it. Absolutely. It may take a while, but I will play. Uh, then after that game, we'll be playing uh, most likely Lunar 2. Uh, the way I, the whole system is set up is uh, we choose a game that you guys want to see me play, and then I choose a game that I want to play. And I really probably want to play Lunar 2 if I can figure out a way to emulate it. So yeah, that's what's coming up next. Uh, I do want to say uh, thank you to everyone who's been following along with me on this ride. Uh, all those who have posted on the comment section, Goleme, uh, Safe, Entra, just just everyone. There is too many names uh, for me to say. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for all of it. Like, all of it. You guys are... You're, you, you all make this so much better. Danielle as well. Thank you, Danielle. Uh, God, like I said, there's just too many people to thank. Um, I even had someone who stopped by and said, hey, I'm just glad to see someone playing uh, Bravely Second. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. So, yeah, uh, thank you all. Um, that was Luke to music. Absolutely. Thank you, Luke. And uh, thank you for everyone. Like I said, Zappa. I, just, I, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't try to get everyone named here because there's just too many people to think. Uh, I also do want to thank our wonderful, amazing supporters of the channel via Patreon membership, Patreon, Patreon and YouTube membership. Uh, Ian Nello Epitok, Tapas Chinikuti, Techno Trouble, Diesel Knight, Moose Gaming, and Daddy X Dagal. Thank you all for all your support. If you'd like to support me in that way, links are in the description below. And, um, yeah. This is it. I love this game. I think it's great. I am so glad I was able to play it, and I'm so glad I was able to share that experience with you all. And I am glad that you all were able to share with me um, on the comment side for those who commented um, what you felt like when you're playing through the game. And for those who didn't post anything and just watch the videos just because they just want to watch and they don't want to post, I, I love you all too. I, I love every one of you guys. I can't tell you how much you all changed my life for the better and you all are the number one YouTube for me, all of YouTube. And until next time, my dear friends, Flatless Bird, signing off from my blind let's play Bravely Second. So long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird.